Welcome to Integration by Use Substitution, Part 10. Here is a list of formulas we're using. And this is the set of 15 examples that we will complete. Each part number corresponds to the example number. So in Part 10, we'll be doing Example 10. Which formula are we going to try? It does look like the secant squared one, right? So let's give that a try. To use that formula, the integral of secant squared u du you would have to be square root x. So let's pick u to be square root of x and hope that du shows up. If u is square root of x, then du is 1 over 2 square root of x times dx. You all know that, right? If you don't, here's the derivation using the power rule. You could pause this frame and study that. We use this so often that it helps to memorize it. Okay, let's get back to our integration problem. u is square root x, so the integral becomes the integral of secant squared u. And what's the rest? There it is. The rest is equal to du. It fits the formula exactly. We get tangent of u plus c. Substitute square root of x back in for u and we're done. Let's check our answer in our head this time. Differentiate tangent of square root x. What do we get? Secant squared of square root x times the derivative of square root x, that is 1 over 2 square root x. So it's correct. You know the routine by now. Now we're going to try to solve this problem without writing in the u's. It would be a lot shorter. As soon as you see this integral, the integral of secant squared u du should come to mind. So let's get it into that format. We write the integral of secant squared of square root x. And right next to that, we must have du. If u is square root x, then du is 1 over 2 square root x dx. Perfect. We are looking at the integral of secant squared u du. And that is tangent of u plus c. All done. I hope the next example is more challenging. Do you? See you next time. Bye-bye.